France is a European nation inhabited by over 66 million people. Nearly 40% of the population is aged 25 to 54, with a fairly neutral growth rate of approximately 0.5% per year. A vast majority, 85.8% of French citizens live in urban areas. With all these people to feed, agriculture is important to this region. Many unique types of agriculture can be found in France. One of those is winemaking. Incorporating sustainable agriculture will be essential to the future of French winemaking and agriculture as a whole. We define sustainable agriculture as the production of food, fuel, and fiber from plants and animals in such a way that protects human health, the environment, and ensures natural resources will be available for future generations. This definition seems to fit quite well with France's current initiatives to be more eco-friendly. At a conference on December 18, 2012, the Ministry of Agriculture announced a program called Let's Produce Differently. This initiative aims to expand sustainable practices already proven on a small scale to larger scale production. Water is a very important to France and sustainable agriculture should help keep this resource clean for future generations. Of total water usage, agriculture accounts for 48% with drinking water at 18%. Some of the, of the bodies of water located around the country are the Mediterranean Sea and the Bay of Biscay. A few major rivers include Seine, which is especially important for transportation in Paris, Rhone, including a number of tributaries, and Garonne, which allows seagoing vessels. There are quite a few available resources located in France. Coal, iron, zinc, timber, and fish are the main natural resources found in this country. France is one of the most varied countries topographically in Europe, consisting of many places with rich soils. Of the agricultural land, 61% is cultivated, 35% is pasture, and 4% is dedicated to vineyards. The mountains in France provide a varied environment as well. Near the top of the mountains, there are mainly just bare rock and various mosses. However, as we move down in elevation, there are alpine pastures good for sheep and cattle. France uses a lot of renewable energy sources, but they do rely heavily on imports for their resources because their country has little domestic energy production. They depend on imports for their gas and oil, and they use nuclear power for electricity. Their production of electricity is very cheap, which makes France the world's largest net exporter of electricity. France is also aiming towards creating more sustainable energy options. The environment and climate varies throughout different regions of France. In the western part of the country, there is an oceanic climate with plenty of rain and cooler weather. In the eastern and central parts, it is typical for the summers to be warm, winters to be cool, and have a lot of rain. In the south, the climate is much more Mediterranean, which consists of hot summers, cool winters, and little rainfall. The fuller-bodied wines come from climates where grapes are grown with an abundance of sunshine. Temperature and climate play a huge role in the production of wine in France because these are major factors in determining the alcohol, acidity, and color of the wine. Wine is embedded in the French culture and is a source of pride and international prestige. It is the most consumed alcoholic drink in France. Each French person consumes about 1.3 glasses of wine per day. Their wine is known worldwide for its quality. In 2014, the country produced about 44 million hectoliters, becoming the largest producer in the world, followed by Italy and Spain. France is also the second largest wine consumer in the world, behind the United States. Many different soil types are utilized for wine production in France. France has four of the top ten regions in the world that are ideal for wine production. Kimmeridgen soil, which is a blend of limestone and clay, offers a unique combination of features which many agree to be the most famous. Grapes are one of the many agricultural crops found in France. The type of soil in the land determines what grapes will grow where. Some grapes reach higher levels of expression in certain soils. For example, Cabernet Sauvignon grapes are best grown in gravel soils, while the Merlot grapes are best grown in clay. Some wines are blended from multiple grape varieties, 
but some wines are made simply from one kind. The general types of grapes are the red varieties and the white varieties. Reds come from Bordeaux, Burgundy, and Rhone, with Burgundy being one of the best wine regions in the world. White wines can come from Loire or Alsace. The different names of wines come from the vineyard or the region in which the grapes were grown. The French use the term terroir to describe the ideal growing conditions for grapes used in wine production. There are certain characteristics of the soil, climate, and topography that affect grape flavor. Grapes grown on drier, rockier, or otherwise challenging landscapes maintain their flavor. A well-balanced vine consists of a low leaf to fruit ratio. If the plant gets too much water, there will be more wood or leaves than grapes and will need to be calmed down. The present wine system may not last until the year 2050. Changes need to be made to make the agricultural system more sustainable. Wine producers need to take global climate change into consideration in order to protect the environment. Wineries can focus on using less fresh water when producing their wines so they are not as wasteful. Wineries use about 2 liters of fresh water for every 0.75 liters of wine produced. They also could utilize technological advancements used to make wine so that the strain on the environment would be lowered. Reducing the amount of wine that goes into the drain systems in the winery factors could also help. A single bottle of red wine produces 0.5 kilograms of waste along with 16 grams of sulfur dioxide. The use of cover crops is, un is also another key process of sustainable farming. They enrich the soil with nitrogen that was lost in the past. These crops also help control weeds, erosion, and the vigor of the vine. Many, place, many places have already implemented sustainable pro processes such as Australia, New Zealand, California, South Africa, and Germany. Creating a sustainable system is necessary in order to decrease human influence on the environment.